Hi everyone, welcome back to Beth's Pets with me, Arachnabeth, and today I'm going to be doing a care sheet video on all of the inverts that I got from the BTS. So, the first stall I visited at the BTS was the spider shop, and I made a bean line for them for these little creatures. These are Aspalus varicosus or the blue death feigning beetle. These guys are a terrestrial beetle, they get between two and a half to three centimetres they are a very docile beetle and their defence mechanism is to feign death hence the name uh, although they're small beetles in captivity they've actually known been known to have a lifespan of up to 17 years which is quite incredible for such a small little creature And I got three of these little guys and they are just in this enclosure here. Uh, they will be getting a bigger enclosure, this is just temporary. But so far I am really enjoying these little creatures. The next two things that I got from BTS on the spider shop table was two little jumping spiders. Now, I've actually recently done a jumping spider care sheet video with my male jumping spider, Trevor. So, I'm not going to do another one today, but what I will do is I will link it down in the description for you. So, if you want to know how to care for these cute little creatures, all you have to do is click the link and it will send you straight there. But what we will do is we will still feed these little guys. Oh, that would have been a brilliant video, if only the leaf wasn't in the way. But there you go, she was obviously quite hungry today, taking down a massive cricket. And this is Augusta. Excellent little takedown from this beautiful girl. And this one I've called Alice. God, her abdomen's tiny. Okay, so the last thing I got from the spider shop was three millipedes. However, I put them all into my little snail and millipede isopod communal. And <laughs> this is the only one I could actually find. The other two were must be buried down in the substrate. And I'm not disturbing them because that is an indicator that they're going to molt. Uh, this is an ivory millipede. Now I have had one of these before but unfortunately it died and I really don't know why. My other millipede, which is a rainbow millipede, was doing absolutely fine. I love watching their little legs. So this is a Chicobolus spinigerus or the ivory millipede. These are fossorial and terrestrial which means that they stay on the ground, but they also will bury underneath the ground. As you can see, he's very docile. They get to about 10 centimetres. And they will live for about 5 to 10 years. And this is Rodney. The other two millipedes that I got from the spider shop 
as I said, I couldn't find them, but what I'll do is I'll insert them, a little video of them here, um, from the rehouse. But one of them is a Anadenbolus monolacornis, which is the bumblebee millipede. which again are fossorial, getting 10 centimetres. They are very docile and they live for about five to 10 years. And that one I have called Damien. This little guy is going for a right wander. And the other millipede that I got is a Narcius americanus, which is the pink-footed millipede. Again, they are fossorial. They get about 12 centimetres. They are very docile. And they will live for about 11 years. And that one I named Raquel. Okay, so this next little one I got off a gentleman called Chris Farrow. He had a stall at the BTS. This one I have never actually seen before with my own eyes and it is the Brachypelma Baumgartani or the Mexican Orange Beauty. These guys are terrestrial, we're getting between 12 and 15 centimetres which is typical for most Brachypelmas. These guys are very docile although as you can see by his bold bum he does flick. Females that live between 20 to 25 years and males 7 to 8 years. And this little one I have called Colin. Always thinking about it. There he goes. Oh, karate spood. Also from the lovely Chris Farrow. I got this beautiful one. This is a Centribolus annulatus or the fire red millipede. You little monkey biting me. This is yeah the fire red millipede. They are fossorial and they get about 10 centimeters. They are very docile but they do like to nibble. As with the ivory millipedes, I found they also like to nibble, which is not painful in the slightest. You can, it just feels like someone's pulling your arm hair. And these guys will also live for about 10 years. And this one I have called Albert. Things I've got for you is three mantids. These I got from Unseen Universe. And... We will start with this one. This is a Herodula species blue, which I have had before, but unfortunately for some reason it passed away. Uh, this one is an arboreal, as with most mantids. They get between 7 and 10 centimetres, so they are a larger mantis. These guys are very docile and as with most mantids they will live for about 12 months. And this one I have called Manuel. This one here is a cat's eye mantis or the Heterocheta orientalis, I think that's how you say it. These guys again are arboreal and they'll get about 15 centimetres, so they're quite a large mantis. These guys are also quite docile and have a slightly longer lifespan of about 12 to 18 months. And this one has molted for me and now needs a rehouse. And then finally, oh, and that one I called Simba. And finally, we have the Philocrania 
Paradoxa, which is the Ghost Mantis. These guys again are arboreal, but these only get to about 5 centimetres. They are very docile, and because of their small size, they actually have a lot less, a lot shorter lifespan of about 6 to 8 months. But I'm sure I'm going to enjoy him all the same. And this little one I have called Casper. So our next one is Pamphobetius species Cascada, or the Ecuador giant bird eater. These guys are a terrestrial species and they will get between 18 and 20 centimetres. They are a very skittish species as with a majority of the genus. Females will live 18 to 20 years and males 3 to 4 years. And this one I have called Grawp. Oh, get in. Lovely takedown. I'll just put his little hide back in. Also from exoticpets.co.uk, I got this beautiful pink lined millipede. The camera doesn't really do it any justice, but it is pretty much a really dark grey or black millipede. And it has an orange or pink line down the back of it you can just sort of see it there this is a Xenobolus carnifex or the pink lined millipede these guys again are fossorial terrestrial getting between 6 and 10 centimeters although this one is slightly larger so I'm assuming now that it's full grown These guys again are very docile and they will live for about 10 years. And this is Cassandra. Okay, my next pickup is these little guys. These are Anthea sex maculata or the Egyptian predatory beetle. There is two of them in here. These guys are terrestrial, getting between 4 and 5 centimetres. They are a very cheeky little beetle and not really recommended for handling because they have got quite strong mandibles and they will give you a nasty little nip. And the lifespan on these isn't really known. I did look it up um, but they, I didn't get any concrete information on that. And, oh god, these are just awesome, awesome, awesome little creatures. I managed to get a little gimpy one, he's got like half of one of his legs missing, which is sad. But, he hobbles around okay. But yeah, let's get down to feeding these little guys. Okay, so I had one escape, but as soon as I chucked him back in, he grabbed that beetle, so unfortunately I didn't get the takedown. Sorry, mealworm, not beetle. So I didn't get the take down. <laughs> I'm trying to steal his worm. He won't appreciate that. Yeah, he's like, oh, no, I'm going to steal your meal. Ah, oh, they broke it in half. That's gross. Just one more thing to add. I got these guys from Bugbox UK. So thank you very much, Cameron, for these. And also from Bugbox UK, I got this abomination. This is a camel spider and it is so aggressive. It is unreal. Like, it's tried to attack me through the plastic. And it is just... I mean, look at that. It's like something from a horror movie, isn't it? I mean, come on. But that's why I had to have it, because it was just so crazy. See that predatory beetle giving it beans back there, because he's just had the worm pinched off him. He's getting that other mealworm. Oh, there he goes, he's got it. <laughs> but yeah, this is an Egyptian camel spider. They are terrestrial species. They get between 12 and 15 centimetres. And... 
Everyone I've really spoke to have said, oh yeah, they're generally quite docile but skittish. But this one is so aggressive. It is so, so, so aggressive. Uh, and they've got a very small lifespan of just a year. Oh my god, I think I missed the takedown on that and everything. All I can hear is the cricket crunching. And the last thing I got from Bug Box UK isn't this piece of cork bark is dairy cow uh, isopods I got 10 of them I've only got two in this container uh, but I did purchase 10 of them and as you would have seen in my pickups video they have actually had babies in that pot so I actually come away with a lot more than 10 but these guys are Porcelio lavis, or the dairy cow isopod, or woodlouse. They are terrestrial, getting between 1.8 and 2.3 centimetres, and they're very docile. The lifespan on these isn't really known again. I can't imagine them having a very long lifespan. And that little thing there is actually a baby one. No baby dairy cow wood louse. Okay, so that little tush there is of Anavicularia minatrix, or the red striped pink toe. These guys are arboreal, getting between seven and eight centimeters, so they're actually a very small avic. These guys are very docile but very very fast. Females that live between ten and twelve years, and males just two to three years. And this one I have called Dragon. And this um, next little beauty is Dolicothele diamantinensis, or the Brazilian Blue Beauty. These guys are a terrestrial species, getting between 8 and 10 centimetres, so they are a dwarf species. They are generally quite docile, but again they are very very fast, especially when they're small. Females will live 10 to 15 years and males will live 1 or 2 years. And this is Cho. Do you know there's food in here somewhere? I think we've missed the takedown, but she might come out with it. Did you get it? Oh, yeah, she got it. Okay, this one is Ephibopus. Cyanogonathus or the emerald blue fang. These guys are a fossorial species, getting between 10 and 12 centimeters. They are a very defensive species of spider. Females will live 12 to 15 years, males 3 to 4 years. And this one I have called Horcrux, and I am not going to feed him because his abdomen is massive. Okay, this gorgeous spider here is Pamphibetius nigricolor, or the Blue Bloom. These guys are terrestrial, get between 18 and 20 centimetres. <sighs> excuse me, I am absolutely shattered. These guys again are quite skittish and defensive. 
females will live 15 to 20 years and males just 3 to 4 years. And this is Gilderoy. There we go. That's that gorgeous boy. This little one is Pamphobetius Manabi. I got this one from Spider Shop PL. These guys are also terrestrial, getting between 18 and 20 centimetres. Again, they are very skittish. Females living 15 to 20 years and males 3 to 4 years. And this is Justin. Lovely jubbly. He is one hungry little spood. So this is the last tarantula that I got from BTS. This is an Afonopelma Anax, or the Texas Tan. I got this little guy from Warren Davis. These are terrestrial, getting between 10 and 12 centimetres. They are very, very docile. Females will get between 25 to 30 years, and males 6 to 8 years. So they're very long-lived, even the males. And this one I have called Cornelius. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him a smallish cricket. Because he has got quite a big abdomen. Okay, so this is a new venture for me. This is a little ant kit. And in here I have a colony of Lassius niger which is just your black common ants and in the bottom there you can see uh, down that end that there is the queen the really big one and there are lots of little workers in there and oops we have one little worker there up the top which is where you put all the food so at the moment i've just got a tiny little cricket in there and some fish flakes but hopefully the queen will send up more workers cool fact is that the queen can live up to 15 years and for a, such a tiny tiny little creature I think that is absolutely amazing. Last but not least we have this guy. This is a Eurocantha calcarata or the giant spiny stick insect. I apologise for the poor angle my camera just died so I'm only at the end of my uh, charging lead. These guys are arboreal, getting about 15 to 18 centimetres, so they are, are massive. So this guy is sub-adult, and I got this as a gift from Sam from Bug Realms. I also got a female with this little guy, and this one unfortunately molted in transit on the way to the BTS, which is why his back legs are a little bit funny. Uh, and if he'd have gone back in with Sam's colony he would have probably just gotten eaten so I said I'd have him and Sam was kind enough to let me have a female as well and as you can see these guys are really docile and they will live for about two years that I've read and because Sam and Kelly have been so lovely and took me to the BTS I have decided to call this guy and his girlfriend Sam and Kelly. And that is the last of my pickups. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If not, feel free to thumbs it down. Also, send us a comment and let me know what you got at BTS. Or if you have any questions, again, just put it down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and like our Facebook page at Arachnabeth as I put on more updates on there along with other pictures, videos, etc. But with all that said, until next time, take care guys and I will see you in the next video.